Hey, Tony, what are you doing here? I was expecting Usman. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, totally unexpected. I wasn't planning certainly to be here with you today, but I'll show you what happened with Usman. Oh, this is not Usman. <laughs> No, no that, yeah, that is Usman. So he got a new skateboard. He started loving skateboarding. And this is what happened. No way. Yeah, really, this is a true story. Uh, so he would have loved to be here with, with us today. He broke his leg. I'm sure he's uh, watching us. So here I am. <laughs> that, that's so sad. So are you presenting with me? I'll try my best. Okay, I hope you'll meet their expectations. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> okay, for today I wanted to talk about DPUs. Do you know what's that? Oh, yes. Actually, they are uh, network uh, cards which have uh, some small uh, general purpose cores next to them that they are used for diverse uh, minor tasks. And they have been uh, successfully used in places like, like cloud. Definitely, they are awesome. And now it's the moment to use them in HPC. In fact, I've already developed a, a simple code. Do you want to show? Show us. I'm, I'm sure they okay. want to see code. OK, this is a, a traditional simple MPI code. So, but in this case, in this case, since we have two devices, we need to send the data from the CPU to the DPU. That's why we discriminate the rank. And then we start the computation in the, in the DPU. And when it's finished, we send back the data from the DPU to the CPU. You, you said simple code? Well, this is more not like that. A spaghetti code? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe it's like, not ideal. How about developing some lasagna code? Wow, I wish I could. But I couldn't think of a better way to doing it. Uh, Sergio, I, so I'm starting to regret having hired you. I, <laughs> I, think they, okay, I, I thought you, you know how to program in OpenMP. Uh, of course, I know how to program uh, OpenMP. It's the standard de facto uh, the, programming language. Then well, but why didn't you use OpenMP afloat? Like that. Well, Tony, you told me that DPUs are for cloud computing, and the Pragma OpenMP offloading is for GPUs, and ah. the DPU is just a coprocessor, a smart NIC with some weak CPUs. Nah, then that's it. You don't know others, right? OK, don't get me wrong. You are my boss, but I didn't want to use AI also for this. <laughs> no, no, what AI? No, no. Uh, this is uh, the, the solution that we developed in the group to enable uh, seamless uh, OpenMP target of loading to DPUs, exactly as if you were using a, a GPU. And what's best even that now you can actually offload general purpose core code, but also MPI calls into that. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Uh, at the beginning, I thought that it was some, something like magical, something AI related, but. Oh, <laughs> not yet. No AI yet here. <laughs> Uh, so this is meant, actually, so that you can pre-process, post-process data that is going to be exchanged uh, across the network, uh, most likely through open MPI, uh, with uh, MPI and others. So now I'm thinking some really interesting use cases for this. Why don't you show us? OK. So uh, thinking, OK, so in physics simulations, in phys yeah, in physics simulations, we could offload the hello exchange to the DPU, or even in, in deep neural network training, we could compute the data augmentation or, or the cross-validation stages in the DPU. And one more case. In computer vision problems, we could start, we could filter out frames without interesting information in order to not uh, saturate the CPU or the GPU. Oh, so that you can have the CPU uh, free to other tasks. Ah. That's it. So yeah. Yeah, so you know what's best. Uh, it's already available. You can already download it. Wow. <laughs> uh, so by the way, we are Antonio Peña. Sergi Serte. From the Accelerator Communications Group at the Computer Sciences Department. Thank, Thank you. you.